Walnut Grove Pioneer Village Mechanics Shop. One of the hidden gems here in uh, the Quad Cities or just outside the Quad Cities. Pretty neat place. And there's a wagon shop back there. And I'll take you to the other side where the blacksmith shop is. Black shops, the blacksmith shop was built here in 1860. Still functioning today. It's not open, or no, they're not using it today, but they do still use this on uh, like holidays and special occasions and stuff. There's the wood-fired forge. One of them, I should say. Here's the old sharpening stone. Over here is another coal-fired forge. All the wrenches and big old anvil, blacksmith vice. Very, very, very neat place. I love visiting here every time I come out to Scott County Park. Also got this whole little town built. And these are all vintage buildings that they put out here. I got a real live soda fountain and everything. It's really cool out here. Old train, old cabins, a bank, church. Really, really neat place. Got a antique barn back here that's got all kinds of cool stuff I'll take you in. This building here is the antique farm equipment building. And it is just full of really cool old farm equipment. Love this tractor. All this stuff's been donated by families of deceased or people of the Scott County, Iowa. Very, very neat stuff. Threshing machine. Old sawmill. Hay rakes. Hay mowers. John Deere made hand corn sheller. Very cool stuff. A poop spreader. Like I say, all this stuff was donated to the park here. But anytime I come out here, I like to go through here. I've never taken pictures or videoed it. So this actually came off the Kerr Onion Farm which was which is where my former employer alcoa was built and very neat it's an onion sorter potato planter i love antique farm equipment horse-drawn corn dropper Here's your butter churning area. Very neat how they have all this set up.
This is almost identical to the plow that my brother pulls behind his deer. Very neat stuff. Little garden plows. Ransom Eli Olds Ideal Lawnmower. Super cool. As you can see, it's got the reel on there. Oh, there's a little chipmunk. And here's another old lawnmower. Very cool. Neat, neat, neat stuff. Just thought I'd share this all with you guys. Children's toys. Neat place. If you're ever in uh, Iowa, in the Quad Cities area, and you go to Scott County Park, you need to check out Pioneer Village. This is the cobbler's shop and carpenter's shop out uh, here at the Pioneer Village. Very cool. All the shoe forms. Very neat. This is the old general store and it's just packed with all kinds of cool old stuff. And like I say, during festivals and stuff that they have out here, all this is open, you can go in. But it's really, really cool out here. It's one of my favorite hidden treasures. Just shows things from a time past. And here's the old jail. Buffalo Bill Cody actually uh, brought some people to this jail at one point in time, I believe. Very cool. Here's the sheriff's uniform. How'd you like to sit in one of those cells? This is the fire station. We've got all kinds of old fire memorabilia in here. But most importantly, the old fire truck. How cool is this thing? 1931 Dodge. Supposedly still runs from what I've heard. Never actually seen it fire up, but super cool. This is pretty cool. This is the uh, this is the old switch engine from the J.I. Case plant in uh, Davenport. And they brought it out here years and years ago to put on display. There's the, a caboose with it from the old Rock Island lines. But where the hood is supposed to be, they put plexiglass so you can actually see the motor. It's pretty neat, but and to go along with the train, this is the old train depot that came out of Donahue, Iowa, and they moved it and put it here. Pretty neat stuff. If I knew the way